So in this week's update from IHME on modeling uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, um, we have made some changes to the assumptions around the transmissibility of the alpha, beta, gamma, and delta variants, particularly the delta variant. These changes in assumptions are based on a statistical analysis of the speed of delta invasion, uh, where we did this sort of analysis last June, uh, and now we have another couple of months of data to, and so we've re-estimated the combinations of cross-variant immunity, that's how much protection you get from previous infection against the new variants, as well as transmissibility compared to the ancestral or Wuhan variants. Um, and that analysis has led us to lower cross-variant immunity for the Delta variant down to about 50% on average, ranging in our models from 30 to 70% and increased transmissibility. So that has some effects on our forecasts, uh, particularly in countries where there are many people that are still susceptible, either because they've had previously low infection or, and or they have low vaccination rates. So when we look around uh, the world, we're seeing a lot of um, diverse patterns uh, for the epidemic right now. Um, a number of Delta-driven um, you know, surges have actually peaked and some are coming down. So we're seeing peaks in places like Arkansas, Missouri, Louisiana, Northern Florida in the United States. Uh, we're seeing peaks in a number of countries in Europe. We're seeing peaks in a number of countries in Africa. Uh, and that uh, at the same time, we're seeing Delta show up in, in and finally trigger surges in place where that hadn't happened yet. Central Europe uh, being the most clear example of these sort of newer Delta surges. We're seeing a, a Delta surge uh, accelerate in the Philippines, um, and we're seeing Delta surges now likely in Ethiopia and Nigeria. So spreading of Delta into new places, but you know, uh, we think mostly due to the fact that there aren't enough susceptibles still left to be infected, peaks in a number of countries that have Delta. The unusual pattern in the United Kingdom warrants attention, and it's certainly a challenge on the modeling front where we saw case a Delta surge go up, peaks come down, but now transmission is going back up, albeit much slower than the peaks in, in uh, the surge in, in uh, July, uh, but still uh, important for us to understand what's led to that increase. The other place that uh, everyone is watching very closely for its insights it gives on uh, vaccine effectiveness and how it wanes, as well as cross-variant immunity, is the very substantial surge we're now seeing in Israel. So when you put all this together in our forecasts, uh, we see in the Northern Hemisphere uh, continued quite substantial uh, epidemics uh, from Delta in aggregate running through to peaks of deaths in, for example, in the United States in late September, uh, peaks in cases probably, uh, you know, late August, early September at the national level varied by state. Uh, we're seeing in Western Europe in the forecasts, um, you know, because there's quite mixed patterns, we're seeing that we expect transmission in aggregate to keep going up for Western Europe. Uh, and th the peaks may come later in the year. And we're actually seeing this phenomenon where you get a Delta surge uh, now, and then it comes down and then you go into the winter surge in the Northern hemisphere, which will be smaller because of the Delta surge, you know, uh, infecting more people, fewer susceptibles, but nevertheless, it's almost two waves that are starting to combine in, in many countries in, in our forecasts. Uh, you know, the, one of the big question marks uh, for us and of course the countries that are affected is as Delta shows up now in South America, what so and after they've been through a major P1 or, or the gamma variant um, uh, epidemics, 
what sort of cross variant protection is there from gamma to delta? And there's essentially no data for us to anchor on for this. And so this will be a very critical question for how severe uh, a delta surge might be in South America. So those are the main um, developments. A, a number of countries uh, in South Asia, you know, India remains uh, low. So we're not seeing uh, a return uh, after the large Delta surges. And Bangladesh has peaked and started to come down. Uh, so we're seeing some progress there. We're continuing to see, and the, the forecast reflect it, big surges in, in Southeast Asia. So very mixed uh, story around Delta, but you know, essentially uh, we are seeing the, the Delta variant driving the global pandemic, even in the face of expansion of um, in vaccination in, in many countries. So uh, that's the main observations from this week's analysis.